Rudy Giuliani has filed for bankruptcy just days after being ordered to pay $148 million in damages for defaming two Georgia poll workers. Giuliani, who is known as America's mayor for his leadership of New York after September 11, 2001 attacks, faces a crush of deaths stemming from his work as a lawyer on Trump's behalf. He also faces criminal charges in Georgia. Now, Giuliani listed assets of between $1 million and $10 million and liabilities of between $100 million and $500 million. Well, a spokesperson for Giuliani, who no longer works as a Trump's lawyer, said that the bankruptcy filing will give him time to appeal the $148 million penalty. And the spokesperson added that the filing would ensure that other creditors are treated fairly. U.S. bankruptcy proceedings can enable people and companies to wipe away or reorganize their debts. Giuliani's filing will pause all of the pending civil lawsuits against him. However, it may not allow him to duck the money he owes the election workers. Now, judges have ruled that defamation penalties cannot be discharged if a debtor has engaged in willful and malicious conduct. Right there, there isn't much I can say. The trial is going on. You heard one side. Stay tuned for my testimony. It'll be under oath. Like uh, Russian collusion, like um, being accused of being a Russian pawn by President uh, Biden. Two former election workers, Wandria Moss and her mother, Ruby Freeman, faced threats after Giuliani falsely claimed that they were engaged in voting fraud. Giuliani has repeated those claims following the December 15th verdict, and even though he admitted that they were defamatory, prompting the two workers to file a second lawsuit. A federal judge ruled Giuliani must immediately begin paying the two women, concluding that there was a risk that he may attempt to conceal his assets. A lawyer for the two women said that bankruptcy would not discharge his debt to them. Giuliani was named the magazine's person of the year following the 2001 attacks. He mounted an unsuccessful bid for the 2008 Republican presidential nomination. As a Trump's personal lawyer, he led efforts to keep Trump in the White House following his 2020 defeat. Now, he filed unsuccessful lawsuits to challenge the results and falsely claimed in public testimony that he had evidence proving election fraud. And his seat of the pants effort often drew ridicule. He scheduled a press conference at Four Seasons in Philadelphia that turned out to be a landscaping company, not a luxury hotel. And, at an, and in another news conference, a dark substance, possibly hair dye, dripped down his face. He called for trial by combat at a rally for Trump supporters on January 6, 2021, shortly before thousands of them attacked the U.S. Capitol in an effort to prevent Congress from certifying Trump's defeat. Now, Giuliani faces criminal charges of election subversion in Georgia, along with Trump and more than a dozen other CO defendants, co-defendants. He has pleaded not guilty and his law license has been suspended in New York and he faces disbarment in Washington. Now, Giuliani listed President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, and a former employee, Noel Dunphy, as creditors on the bankruptcy filing. Hunter Biden has sued Giuliani for violating his privacy over data allegedly taken from his laptop. And Dunphy has sued him for sexual assault, harassment, and wage theft. Now, Giuliani has denied these allegations and Dunphy's lawyers said that they would not be deterred from pursuing the case. Other creditors include Smartmatic and an employee of Dominion Voting Systems. He faces lawsuits for claiming both voting machine companies flipped votes from Trump to Biden in the 2020 election. Giuliani also said that he owed nearly $1 million to the U.S. and New York state governments and nearly $2 million in legal fees. And the two law firms that formerly represented him have sued for unpaid bills. Trump, meanwhile, fears more courts and election officials will follow Colorado's lead and exclude him from must-win states.